What's up YouTube? It's Creative Vice Media Group and I'm going to show you a really cool thing on Photoshop which is how to make an exploding planet. As you can see in front of you, uh, this is what we're hoping to achieve at the end of this and it's just cool and fun to make. Alright, to make this, let me close that. To make this, you need to go to Google, wherever, and get yourself an image of cracked or dry mods. Just Google search it or something and unlock the layer. Press OK and make a new layer. Go image, canvas size, change it to pixels, and you want to add around 300 pixels to what we have already. So for me, that would be 1200 by 900. Okay. Press OK. There we have it. Um, now what we want to do is go into whilst you can drag layer one underneath layer zero. Layer zero will be your cracked mod. Alright. Alright. Go to image adjustments invert or you can press control I. Uh, now what we want to do is click on our elliptical marquee tool. Alright? And whilst pressing down shift and shift and alt make a circle like there and right click select inverse and just press delete press control D to deselect and now we have your circle that's great now what we want to do is go to filter distort uh, spherize um, I want to drag that into this screen and do 100% press OK want to go to filter, distort, spherize again sorry guys I've got two monitors, I have to drag it in uh, this time 50% and press OK once we have that we want to make um, the background layer 1 we want to color that in so let's make it a black and we want to merge or flatten the image. Merge visible or flatten the image. Merge visible doesn't really matter. All right. Now what we want to do is go filter, shar sharpen, unsharp mask, and we want around 500% uh, amount, radius two pixels, and threshold 1,000 levels. You can play around, but these are what I'm using. All right, press OK. Once that's done, we want to go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. Let me drag that in. Sorry, there we go. And we want Polar to Rectangle. Press OK. We want now to Image Rotate um, 90 degrees clockwise, and we want to go to Filter stylize uh, where is it stylize wind um, drag that in we want method wind from the right press ok <coughs> and go filter and at the top um, your last what you've done will be there you can do wind again and you can do it again if you want but I'm gonna do mine twice now what you wanna go to image rotate canvas 90 degrees counterclockwise. <clears throat> Go to filter, distort, um, and polar coordinates. And drag that in. And go to rectangular to polar. Press OK. There we have your main shape. Now what you want to do is press Control U for to open the image and saturate uh, the hue and saturation. Sorry. Or go to adjustments, hue and saturation. And drag that in as well. You can either play with the hue like that, or you can click colorize like so. I'll leave mine like this just just to show. Press OK. Now go into image adjustments color balance. Alright. We want the red all the way and we want the rest down. Alright, now what we want highlights, we want, um, we can just play around with this actually. Um, 
whatever you think looks good. Bit of yellow and shadows. Yeah, like that. So yeah, you just do what you think looks good, press OK, and there we have your exploding planet. Um, as I said, you can do, remember when I said you can do the wind as many times as you like, what it will do is make these little things longer. Uh, in my image, I could have possibly done it one more time just to make the effect more effective, but that's how you do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.